Day thirty. Ten o seven a.m. It's a new week, and the housemates are gathered in the living room for a new round of nominations. However, I thought we would change it up a little bit. So instead of them nominating the two people they are least closest to, they're actually going to be nominating the two people they are closest to. And whichever Sims receive the least amount of votes will then face the block. And Sophia will be first up to vote. Sophia, please come to the diary room. Now, Sophia voting for Bryson is no real surprise since they did just woohoo yesterday, but it was a very close tie between Kaylee and Jesse. However, Sophia went with Kaylee. Now, Kaylee and Bryson have one point. And remember, this round, you want to get the most points because then you'll be safe. So, next up to vote is going to be Haven. And Haven's two favorite people are Emma and Jesse, giving them both one point each. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. And Emmanuel is next to vote. And Emmanuel's two favorite people are Kaylee and Bryson, putting them both in the lead with two points. Not only is Haven distracted by all the broken TVs as she's trying to fix them, Haven also distracts me and I completely skip past Jesse and Kaylee, but don't worry, we will come back around to them. However, next up to vote is going to be Emma. And Emma's two favorite people are Tice, no surprise there, but that does put him on the board with one point, even though he's not in the lead as Kaylee is so far in the lead with three points. All right, and next up to vote is going to be Kristen. Hmm. 
All right, and Kristen's favorite people are, of course, Tice, as she did just hook up with him. And it's also Kaylee, which is even more so putting her in the lead with four points. Next up to vote is going to be Tice. And I think it's safe to say we know the two people he's going to be voting for. And of course, Tice votes for Emma and Kristen. One nineteen PM. The housemates have been nominating for about three hours now, and Bryson is next up to vote. I feel like Bryson's nominations totally make sense. He nominates Gavin as it is his, like, day one buddy, and Sophia since he did just hook up with her. And that does put both of them on the board with one point. And his day one buddy Gavin is next up to nominate. Alfonso, in Gauchifa. Huh. Oh. Ha. 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 Yibs. <laughs> And Gavin returns the favor and nominates Bryson, giving him three points, and he also gives another point to Kristen. Now I am going to make my way to my forgotten two, and Kaylee is next up to vote. And Miss Popular herself, Kaylee's two nominations are for Emmanuel and Emma. Both have very similar names. And this does put Emmanuel on the board with one point. And last but certainly not least, we have Jesse. Borsos, Watu, Vandalay. And of course, Jesse picks the two oddballs to be their favorites, and that is Haven and Gavin. Everyone has at least received one nomination.
4.43 p.m. After positively nominating all day, the results are in. And it feels a bit weird, but the three people with the most votes is Kaylee with four votes, Emma with three votes, and Bryson with three votes. The three of you are obviously safe for the week, but you will also receive a nice little reward during this week's shopping task. Tice, Gavin, and Kristen are in the middle with two points. And everyone received one point, but the people that do only have one point have the least and are therefore nominated for eviction. Those four players are Jesse, Emmanuel, Sophia, and Haven. Now, I do have to admit, I made a little oopsie the first time when I was filming this, and I thought Kristen only received one vote, so I did accidentally have her nominated. And you will see how that affects her in tomorrow's episode, but don't worry, I'll make up for it, okay? <laughs> and not only was this a fun twist for nominations, but I also have a fun twist on voting. Now, the housemates voted to save, and so will you. Per usual, there will be a vote to save poll on the community tab on my channel and over on my Twitter, and that link can be found in the description. But also, the five points you have to spend today, the five you have to spend tomorrow, and the five you have to spend on Wednesday, you can separate however you wish on the four nominees. But remember, you are voting to save, and the person with the least amount of votes is going to be going home on Friday. Now, I actually thought that since we're getting smaller and smaller episodes when it comes to nominations, I could actually start to show a little bit of house action after the nominations. And it looks as though Gavin and Bryson seek the bathroom in the bedroom in order to kind of gain some confidence in the mirror, while everyone else hits the pool. Seven fifty four PM When Tyson was eliminated on Friday's eviction, he decided to punish Sophia. And Sophia is called to the diary room after nominations have ended to find out what her punishment will be. And she was instructed to bring that iPad she got from Santa. I mean uh Mr. Winter or whatever the fuck you call him. <laughs> Sophia, this punishment is a two-parter. The first part is that you gotta give up this little iPad and leave that here in the diary room until further notice. The second part is that you are immediately to report to the secret room located in the task room. Now, welcome to BB's sewer, or cellar, whatever you want to call it. And, um, yeah, you will be living here for the remaining part of the week. And, of course, while I'm trying to explain this, Emma and Tice do have to interrupt me to ask if they want a woohoo. I don't even really know why they have to ask each other at this point. They woohoo every single day. Like, why do I have to approve it? Just go ahead and do it already. And <laughs> Emma is, like, really angry. They're about to have angry sex. I don't know if she's angry because, you know, he has recently hooked up with Kristen or not. But maybe she's going to get out all of her aggression on Tice right now. And they clear out the bedroom. They make their way up to the top bed. And they get it on. Per usual. Anyway, you may have noticed during nominations that the Grim Reaper himself was part of the household. And that is because when he came to dispose of Lillian's body, uh, he glitched and never left. He would not leave. So I went ahead and added him to our little family, and he is going to be spending the week with Sophia. 
And unfortunately for him, even he is squeamish and afraid of the rats. So I thought, you know, he wouldn't care about living in BB's cellar, but uh, he does. And it looks as though Sophia's first instinct upon meeting the Grim Reaper is to get on her knees. Um, <laughs> I don't even really know what to say to that. I mean, expected. Um, sadly, we don't have a urinal, or we know what she'd be doing in there with him. But um, uh, we'll see what else she gets into. I feel like the two of them are going to get along. But I am going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode there. Now, remember, it is Vote to Save this week. And you have to Jesse, Jesse, Emmanuel, and our locked away so you. you have today, tomorrow, and Wednesday to vote for your favorite. And make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and all that stuff. That way you're notified when a new episode drops. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.